Our base makeup is just melting down because of the sweat and sebum from this hot stuffy weather plus masks. So today we will show you the skincare routine with a matte finish but not dehydrating and a long lasting base makeup that will survive this weather. Welcome back Wish Trenders, it's Casper and I'm back with Beauty Hackers. So we did a video on glowy skin on Beauty Hackers and a lot of you guys loved it but also a lot of you guys requested a video on matte skin. There are many of you out there that live in hot, humid areas that just prefer the matte makeup over easily melting, glowy makeup. And we understand, so we prepared a long-lasting makeup look for you. When you look at K-pop idols, their makeup lasts through all dance performances on stage while they're sweating, so we prepared just that. All the products that we're using today are cruelty-free, so check in the description box down below for information. To make the base makeup last longer, you need to start with the right skincare. The tip here is to do the skip care and to choose the products with light finish. When people think of matte skin, they automatically think of lightweight products, matte products, just matte, 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 everything. But if you start with matte skincare, then that means your face could actually get more oily and cakey. Today we're going to teach you guys how to make your skin hydrated fully from the inside with a matte finish on the outside. So the tip here is to use products with light finishes. Products with thick textures can leave unabsorbed sticky feelings on the surface of your face. So if you use a lightweight product, it could be easily absorbed, hydrated, but your skin won't feel sticky. Choosing a product that hydrates deeply without making your skin feel oily and cakey is the tip for matte makeup. Second, reduce the amount of products that you use during your skincare. So in the morning, before you apply makeup, do the skip care instead of piling on products on your face. The full routine of toner, essence, eye cream, ampule cream, oil might just be too much on your face and will leave your skin feeling super rich. In the morning, choose products for hydration. If you want to use a specialized functional product, we recommend you use it at night. Use each product imagining that you are locking the moisture inside your skin with the heat from your hand. Gently dab it in. Dry skin may feel like this isn't enough, so if that's the case, try applying lightweight moisturizer in between the steps. Also, if you feel like the product isn't applying completely and it's still kind of on the surface of your face, then use a clean sponge or a tissue paper to dab it off a bit. The third tip is to use sunscreens and foundations with different textures. So today we're going to use liquid foundation and as you guys can see, the two textures are very different. Watery texture can be applied thin and feel moisturizing but with lower coverage. On the other hand, the thick foundation has higher coverage but applies thicker on the skin and it's less hydrating. After choosing the foundation, depending on your skin type and the amount of coverage you need, then choose a sunscreen with the opposite texture. With a dewy foundation, use a sunscreen with a matte finish. And with a matte foundation, go with a sunscreen with a dewy or moisturizing look. Dewy foundation won't adhere well to a dewy sunscreen and also a matte foundation with a matte sunscreen will make your skin look very dry and cakey. This is the end of basic skincare. We use the dewy sunscreen on this part and use the semi matte sunscreen on the other part. We will move on to the base makeup. Remember two things to a makeup that will survive the hot stuffy weather and the mask how to apply, and how to fix the makeup. So on the part with the dewy sunscreen, I'm going to apply matte foundation. And on the part with the matte sunscreen, I'm going to apply dewy foundation. So how am I going to apply foundation today? I'm going to use this brush and the sponge. We need different tools for different foundation types. So using a brush like this might make it easier to get light layers of foundation and for it to adhere better, but you might get brush strokes. So some of you might find it easier to use sponges rather than brushes. There are definitely pros and cons for each tool, so follow me. We will match the matte foundation with this flat brush. So don't apply foundation directly on your skin. Instead, get enough foundation on the brush so you could apply it on your face. Flat brush bristles easily get separated, so you might get brush strokes as you apply in different directions. So a tip here is to use a mist. Spray the mist a little bit on the brush to reduce brush strokes and to make it moist. 
Now pump the foundation on the back of your hand. One pump for the whole face. I'm only applying it for the half of the face, so half a pump. Like this much. Okay, so we're gonna start by applying foundation on the brush. Uh, I'm gonna move it back and forth so that it fills the brush thoroughly on the front and the back, okay? So as you guys can see, I have it evenly applied on the front and the back of the brush. Now I'm going to apply it on my face. So what you want to do when you apply foundation using a flat brush like this is to avoid applying too much on areas that might not want a lot of foundation. So around the lips, around the eyes. So avoid applying a lot on areas like this. And when you start applying on your face like here, you want to start by getting it on the large part of the cheek and then move inwards. You want to get the least amount on the inner parts of your face so that you don't look like you have too much foundation on. But you also don't want to get a lot on the outer parts of your face as well because you still want to get yourself that little contour and also you don't want hair sticking to your face all day. Okay, so now we're going to try using this brush, right? Um, I'm going to first blend it out naturally. And use light brush strokes. Usually, just like I did, foundation on one side should be enough for one cheek. Now, once you feel like the foundation has worn off on the side, what you can do to get rid of the brush strokes is to use it like as if you're dabbing with a sponge. So, lay it down flat and just tap it. Now that I've blended out the cheek parts, I'm going to go in with the forehead. It's the same. You start from the inside outwards. And with whatever you have left on the brush, you can go around the eye area or around the mouth where you might need extra coverage. Okay, now we're going to go in with the nose. The nose is the area with the most amount of pores, guys, right? So you're going to use the brush as if you're filling in the pores. So we're going to use the brush vertically and apply it like this as if you're dabbing it in. And then blend it out. And then repeat this process. So finally, with what's left on the brush, go on blemishes or areas that need extra coverage. So I have one right here. Just tap. So do we foundations go really well with flat brushes and sponges, but today we're going to use a sponge. Pump the foundation on the back of your hand. So this time I'm going to apply the foundation directly on my face and like before I'm going to start from the largest part of my cheek inwards. And this way you can cover the large parts of your face first and use less product. So I'm going to spread out the foundation on my cheek first. And now I'm going to use a sponge to blend it out. So wet your sponge and when you wet your sponge, you have to squeeze out the water really hard or else you're going to drip water and it's going to get rid of the coverage of the product and that's not good. And on the other hand, you could actually use a dry sponge, but what that does is give you more coverage, but it dries out your skin as well. If you have really dry skin like me, you can spritz a little bit of the mist on the sponge to make it moisturizing enough. Okay, so we're going to start dabbing the face using the sponge and we're going to start from the large parts of our faces and then move inwards. It's really easy to use sponges like this that have large flat surfaces, so it's really fast. And usually they have pointed ends like this to go in areas like around the eyes and around the nose and around the mouth. It's same for the forehead. Start from the largest area and move from the outside to the inside. So I'm just going to go like this for the forehead like this. So try to steer away from the wanjon outside, like the complete outside parts. Now use the remainder of the product on the sponge to get around the eyes and the nose and the mouth. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the nose. I kind of, you know, like dabbed a little bit on my nose, but to actually cover the nose, I'm gonna put the product on my nose directly using my fingers and gently rub it. And then I'm gonna use the pointy side to really get it in the pores and blend it out. Okay. 
With a dewy foundation, you're not going to get full coverage. You can try and layer it, but it's just going to make your foundation thicker. So just keep your makeup nice and fresh and cover using a concealer. We tried two different makeup methods. You can see how they have different textures, right? We hope you choose the right products and tools that fit your skin type. We cannot end here, so we have an extra tip for those of you who want more longevity of the product when you use a dewy foundation. So the first tip is loose powder. Now when you're using loose powder, try to use a fluffier brush to apply the powder. So we're gonna teach you guys a method to use the least amount of product as possible. So pour a small amount of powder on the lid and dip the brush while holding the brush vertically and swirl it around so that it applies evenly into the bristles and tap off the excess. When you apply the powder, try to apply it like this with rolling motions instead of swirling it around like so and this will help your foundation adhere better and it will blot your skin. Step 2. Make a fixer. Now, fixers can splay out blotches like as if it's spitting on you if you don't press down all the way. So to get it evenly on a large amount of area, press down all the way like this. Now I'm done with my skin makeup, I'm going to move on to the rest of my face and come back. Ta-da! This is the final look of a deeply moisturized matte face makeup that will last forever. Today I did a half and half makeup look for different types of skin. So to quickly summarize, if you have normal, oily, acne prone, or combination skin, then go for a dewy sunscreen with a matte foundation using a flat brush. And if you have dry and clean skin, then go for a semi-matte sunscreen with a dewy foundation using a wet sponge. I know sometimes you want a glowy look that makes your skin look like it's very moisturized, but this video is more for those of you who live in hot climates where you just need that matteness. Which tip did you find the most helpful? Please let us know by participating in the survey down in the comments. If you have questions about other K-pop idol beauty hacks, please let us know and we will be there to answer for you guys. I'll be back and I'll see you guys. Bye!